Hey everyone, what's up? It's me, Angel Writer. I have a book I want to recommend to you, and yes, it's another book review. But this one's a lot more personal and emotional because it involves an athlete and a famous person who I'd put on my list of people I'd love to meet as far as big name people. There's this guy, Andre Agassi. It's his autobiography called Open, and that's exactly what this is. I've never read a more honest account. But what was interesting about this book is when I first read it, I struggled with it because I was reading about his, I'd be reading about his father and what a tyrant he was, and it's like, oh, that pain and the anguish. And then, because of all the pain and the tragedy, I just, I just had to put the book down for some reason. It's only recently that that book came calling back to me and say, you know what, you gotta finish this. There's something you gotta learn from this. And I've become inspired in a way I, I, I can't put into words. He comes from the line, Andre comes from the line of those people that you think you know the person, but you really didn't. And this is one of those cases. And wow, is all I have to say. And one of the reasons why I look to Andre Agassi for inspiration is when I was in high school, he was the big player at the time. I discovered him when he won his first Wimbledon game. And when I saw him, I looked and I'm like, who is this guy? He doesn't look like, or he's not like the typical tennis player. And I think that's what attracted me to him. And yeah, I had his picture up on my locker. <laughs> so that should tell you something. I just had a lot of effort, and I, 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 it, I got inspired to read about tennis, learn about the game, and just looking to watch him, and just like looking for him. And as the years have gone by, and he got older, and we, I grew up watching him, I saw what he did, what he's done for his life, where he found his peace and happiness, and it's explained in that book. It took him a long time, as it does anybody. But at the same time, it's also good to see how somebody who has earned a lot of money gets inspired to help others, to, to give back to their community, to build it up. I love people like that. I think more celebrities and more artists or whoever's big name needs to do that. Because it shows that they're not only in it for the money, they're in it for something bigger than themselves. They're not necessarily in it to win it, but in it because that's who they are and is a part of their identity. And yeah, it's made me think a little bit about a few things too, to be honest with you. So in lieu of that, I definitely, I, I, I just, dude, everybody, if you can get this. He's one of the greatest athletes ever, in my mind, because I've connected to something. And if I had, like I said, if I put him on a list of people I'd like to meet in my life, he'd be definitely up there in the top five. Anyway, guys, if you want to know more about this dude, I have some links below, as well as a link to his foundation. And yeah. It might be a good idea to do donate some money, too, while I'm at it. Anyway, feel the love and rock on. Take care of each other. And if there's somebody that you admire and you love their works, don't be afraid to tell them. Don't be afraid to say thank you and honor them in any which way you can. Catch you later.